All right, Fudge Pie Guy here. I got a uh, FlightAware uh, filter for ADS-B, 4090 MHz. And uh, this one's bad. The connector won't stay on and everything. And I don't really use these anymore. So I'm going to take this apart and see what's all inside. I'm sure not a lot of people have done that. So we will do that and see so i'll be back all right so we got this apart since this is basically pressed in here and comes out you know up through here i just kind of put this in the vise and beat down on it with a hammer so it kind of messed that up obviously but um so here's what it looks like so if we look here my lighting's not the best but as you can see there is a circuit board in there with a th few things soldered to it now I was just messing around and this end fell off it fell off the solder it came off the solder joint so let's just pop this off so this is kind of pressed in to here and both ends have a o-ring i guess to keep water and dust and what else out of it like i said this just came unsoldered from the uh the board itself right there as you can see uh I guess to get this board out, we need to unsolder these, which I'm not going to really worry about that right now. Um, I don't know if I can break this one off or not without putting it in the vise. But, uh,. <clears throat> But yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Not a whole lot to it. I think there you get a little bit better look. Now this filter is from the get-go when they first released these. I had uh, this one for a while. I got a couple of these. And you got some stuff back here. So, <clears throat> and there's not a whole lot of solder on that joint, but I guess if it's enough, that's what matters. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.